Hello again. I didn't go anywhere in my kitchen except to reload the exact same, almost the exact same ingredients. And I decided to twist it up a little with something new. So the first thing is six egg whites and I get my eggs from a local farmer. I remember getting my first green egg. My husband was bringing fresh chicken eggs from his work and I never saw a green egg before. And this was way before I started connecting my soul, my mind and my body. So I wouldn't eat the green eggs. Look what's going into this recipe is a green egg. Okay. So I wanted to show some people maybe you do not know how to take the yolks out of your eggs and just get the egg whites and then i drop them in a container and i save them for hollandaise sauce or lemon curd or for those of you who have an ice cream maker and you know what i don't even think you need one you could probably just put it in your freezer if you've got enough salt in there you can stir it up on occasion and you can make your own ice cream. Okay, continuing on here, got three eggs. Now again, if you break the yolk and it gets in here, just use the eggshell itself to pull it out. If you drop an eggshell in any of your cooking and you're like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get that out of there? use the eggshell itself. There's some sort of connection that it just sucks it up. You know, sometimes you go fishing around for it with your fingers and you can never get it. Eggshell is the answer. One, two, three. Okay. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. I don't want to miscount. Five. This one's a big one. Get that little piece off there, okay? Last one, number six. So again, support your local farmers with their produce and their eggs. Their stuff is gonna last so much longer than any other produce and the eggs that you get from the grocery store. They might be a wee bit more expensive, but you know where it came from and you're supporting local people. I just have these in a little container right now, but they're going to go in a glass jar so they stay fresh in my fridge. All right, so it's about the same ingredients, but I twisted a little thing up and I'll show you in a second. So you have your six egg whites, you have your protein powder, a third of a cup that you're gonna put in at the end, and I'm not going to use the mixer this time. I'm just gonna use my spatula to mix it in. This time it's four tablespoons, not three for the pretzels, and I added something new. I'm trying out different protein powders. This is vanilla, this is from Noble. The difference between this one is it's not just grass-fed beef isolate. It is nose to tail and it has colostrum. So let me read the ingredients, which are very, very small that I cannot see. Grass-fed beef liver protein isolate, nose to tail organ blend, bovine heart, liver, kidney, spleen, pancreas, blood, bone, and marrow, and colostrum. Awesome, then there's some Himalayan salt, xanthan gum, natural flavor, and stevia. My glasses are so dirty. I can see through the light. I don't know if you could see how nasty they are. I decided to take a scoop that was in here and put this in the mix. Why not? But I thought I'm gonna add this protein powder. How bad can it be? I don't know, probably could be really bad. Then again, two tablespoons of the gelatin. That's my grass-fed beef gelatin. And last but not least, the Redmond's Real Salt and uh, cream of tartar. That's what it was, half a teaspoon. So now I'm gonna use my mixer, not my blender, as I said in my pretzel video, and we are going to blend this together, mix it on the highest speed that you have until you get firm peaks. Okay. 
<laughs> That's a good five minutes. You want to get them as thick as you possibly can. And I was nervous that that vanilla powder that I put in there wasn't making it get thick. Just be patient. And it's an arm workout. I mean, my arms are kind of tired from that. Okay, now we add the third of a cup of that dry egg white powder. And I refuse to use this mixer again because I want to make sure that it isn't styrofoamy. It wasn't too bad on the pretzels, but I just want to try. Let me get these off of here and see if I can get them in better. There we go. It smells so good. I could probably just eat this right out of the bowl, but I won't because it's eggs, raw eggs. Not that I have a problem with that. Fold it in. I'm getting it everywhere. Okay, I don't know about you, but I don't have little donut containers and little donut baking things because I've never made donuts before. So I'm just gonna put them in about a donut size, just kind of spread it out all over the baking pan. Hopefully I can make it work. And no, I did not put anything on here like I did with the pretzels because I'm not going to touch these until they get out of the oven. So they're going to cool and I hope that they pull off. If not, then a little bit sticks on. No big deal. I don't think I'm going to have enough space for all of these. I'm going to have to move my pretzels over to another place. Ooh, that's a big donut. <laughs> okay, they're not perfect. They're not pretty. But honestly, I don't care. Because I am too cheap, I am not going to let this parchment paper go to waste. This is going to be my second tray of donuts. And I just shook off the pretzel stuff. I just don't care. Here we go. And I'm not serving these to anyone. They're going to be mine. Rustic donuts. That's what I'm calling it. And there's icing that you can make too. There's three different kinds, but I think since I made this vanilla, I don't know. I don't even know if I have some unsweetened chocolate, but I may make a chocolate icing. And I don't know, these are just not all the same size. So I think I gotta, there, divvy it up a little. Okay. Again, the magical 325 oven is going and I'm going to put these on the top rack because I really don't want to brown the bottom. I think that'll work. Okay, you bake them for 15 minutes until they're cooked through and a little brown. We'll be right back. Coming right back. So here are the donuts with no hole and just flat on a baking sheet with parchment paper. I'm not sure I exactly wanted that on the bottom, but it doesn't smell burned. I haven't tasted them yet. And I made a little bit of a chocolate icing that I'm going to dip these in when that cools down a little bit. And all I used was about a quarter to a third of a cup of coconut milk. You can use cream. You can use almond milk. You can use macadamia nut milk, whatever you want. Just watch the fat. Again, this is supposed to be protein sparing modified fast. Then some confectioner sugar. I use the Swerve. That's the powdered sugar. It melts easier, but you can use either one. It's just going to take a longer time for the granulars to dissipate into the chocolate. And I used every single one of these that I had. I don't know how old they are, but they are unsweetened baking squares. So that's it. All right. I just want to taste the donut. Remember, I didn't have one of those nice little silicon type of pop them out donut things. Mmm. They remind me of angel food cake. They're sticking to my teeth. So let's try 
and the idea is not to do this, but. Hmm. Hmm. There's a little bit of undone stuff in the inside, so make sure they're cooked through. I'm probably going to pop these back in the oven just for another five minutes. Hmm. They are ooey gooey. Not exactly like a donut. I mean, I'm telling you, if you think that these are going to be just like a Krispy Kreme donut, and if you don't know what Krispy Kreme are, sorry, <laughs> they're really good. But remember, they are almost pure protein and they are so good for you. So when you are having that sweet tooth or when you actually just want to grab one of these and go, you can. No refrigerator, just put them in a container. I don't know how long they stay, but I'm pretty sure that they're not going to stay around long. It gets a little bit of that sweet tooth and it's packed with protein. So find something more with God and make sure that he connects your soul, your mind, and your body. Eat to be strong. Speaking of which, I gotta go work out. I love you all. Have a blessed and inspired day.